Hello and welcome to today's short video where I'm talking about the top five fears artists have and why you need to let go of them. Well, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie and I help artists to set up and grow a successful profitable business doing what they love. So if that's you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Now, this week we're posting quite regularly. We're doing some little top tips and little things that you can use um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's go ahead and take a look at those top five fears and then let's see what we need to be doing about it. So number one, what if nobody likes my work? Number two, what if I've got the pricing piece completely wrong, right? Number three, what if I get rejected by the galleries that I'm approaching? Number four, what if nobody buys any of my work? And number five, what if I can't make this art business thing work at all? Have you ever had any of those fears or fears that are similar? If you have, let me know in the comments below because I promise you I've had all of those fears. And here's the reason why I want you to let them go. Because if you remember, what you focus on is what you're going to get. So if we're focusing on the fear part and you're focusing on the lack and you're focusing on things that are not happening the way you like them to happen, then of course you're simply gonna get more of that, right? So what we want to do is we want to focus on the direct opposite and we want to put all our attention on there. And I get it, this can seem really tricky at the beginning, right? Because you're sitting there going, yeah, but I really have this fear. This fear is really real for me. But I'm gonna promise you, you've gotta let it go. You've gotta let it go and you wanna be facing, focusing on something completely different, the opposite. Because once you do that, you will get a different experience in your world. So basically, if you're focusing on those questions, then you're missing out on getting these brand new sort of results that you could be getting. So you could be getting work that you absolutely love. Imagine if you're just like, I love this work so much, I would buy my own work. What about confidently priced works that not only makes you feel really good, but makes your customer feel good as well? So you've created a total win-win. You sell something and you think, that's good for me, and the customer is thinking the same. What about selling regularly through that one gallery that's headhunted you, that's found you, that you love working with, that you've almost made like a friendship with the gallery owner? Or via your own site and your own sales and marketing methods? And what about running that dream art business that yes, replace the day job and means that you can make a profitable living from your art and creativity and which gives you way more flexibility and freedom than you thought possible. So if you'd like to know how to do all of this, I've got the very first thing for you, the first step on your journey, and that is a free guide, the 10 things that you need to be doing in order to make a living from your art. So there's a link below this video where you can grab that free download and enjoy that and start that journey towards a more positive outlook on all those things that I've just shared that I'm sure you'd much rather have in your world than those fears that we, and we're just gonna put behind us. You can also get yourself registered on my brand new free masterclass, the foolproof formula to pricing your artwork. And let's really get you started on your path to art business success.